Hello, hello, hello. Happy, happy Friday, everyone. I hope you all are having a fantastic Friday. Rachel. Yes. We're back. We're back. <laughs> I am so excited about this, guys. Like, we've been having some technical difficulties um, with our new setup, which we are absolutely loving, but it may or may not be working today. As you can tell, we're back on the iPhone because first of all, I love live streaming on the iPhone. Like it's so nice from my perspective. I enjoy the videos cause I even watch them back sometimes. I hope you guys enjoy them too, um, as you all seem to have been, but have no fear, the old setup's not going anywhere. We're just trying to figure out some things with that. But for today's video, since I have an appointment here in a minute, um, we just wanted to come live and get crafty with you guys on this Friday. So as you guys tune in, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on in your neck of the woods. We are so excited that it's Friday. I bet there are many, many of you ready to get crafty this weekend. This is the last weekend before Makers Gonna Learn launches all of their fonts. And I am so excited for all the font projects we have lined up next week. If you guys have had any issues using fonts, we are super excited to dive into those. This is day two of our brand new reference guide that everybody is printing out. People have been enjoying this. Remember, this is a member only perk. Um, and today we are going to make an organization project from our last month's collection with um, some really fun techniques of using vinyl on notebooks or really any leather okay so in today's video we're talking about permanent vinyl and leather and we'll dive into iron-on and different things like that because traditionally this is like faux leather and i just don't know how comfortable i would feel using heat on that so today we are using permanent vinyl but honestly like after we made this project like you apply it like it feels so it feels really nice. It feels like it's gonna stay on there. It really does feel like it's gonna stay on there. So, Rachel, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm loving. I mean, just throwback to the old yeah, setup. Yeah. I mean, we already have 90 viewers. Well, hello, everyone. Yes. And Brenda said, did vinyl on a spare tire? Wait. Oh. <laughs> Not sure it will hold up. Any ideas? Um, I have no idea. I've never applied vinyl on a spare tire, so that's, creative, that's crafty. I've um, been able to upcycle a tire before and turn it into a little a little seating chair, but I've never um, put vinyl on one. So it may hold up. It may not. I don't let know. know. Yeah, let us know. What else is everyone saying, Rachel? Uh, Melissa says hello. Hey. Oh, wait, no, not Melissa. Or someone's oh, at hey. Disneyland. Oh, my goodness. They said hello from Disney. Happy Claudia. Oh, Claudia. Yay. People are saying TGIF. Yes, TGIF. GIF everyone. And everyone is saying hello Taryn Rachel. <gasps> Yay. <laughs> and we don't have any more questions. Awesome. Right well, guys, we are super excited. Again, this file is from our organization collection at makersgonnalearn.com. If you're brand new here, definitely check out the first link down below. We have so much coming out right now. We have our Disney collection that just got completed and being added to the site, hopefully today, very, very soon, working on some of those projects. Our brand new Cricut printable guide is out and everyone just seems to be loving it. This is something we didn't even see sneak or really talk about we just kind of was like oh here you go thanks for being a member um and we're working on probably three or four more of these type of things to give you all value on like these cheat sheets like there's so much value in these like i love this so again this is one of your member perks and fonts will be coming out next tuesday which long awaited like oh, yeah. you all have been antsy about the font so if you're brand new here I'm Tanner and we run a membership site where we share digital cut files every single month, but we are adding fonts and they will be coming out um, next Tuesday. So over 80 fonts for year members only at makersgonnalearn.com on top of our exclusive videos for year members, um, our printable guides for all memberships and everything. So if you're brand new here, check out the links below because our membership is really for anyone that loves their die cutting machine. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if you have a die cutting machine, if you love the free videos we make here, you're absolutely going to love your membership as we have over 2000 amazing members that are enjoying theirs every single week, day, year, month, who knows? I am so excited. I wanna talk about something really quick um, that I saw in the Facebook group. 
I screenshotted it, but I wonder if I'll be able to find it. She is our member of the day because she is just super, super sweet. Um, let me see if I can find it. Do I because find it? Do you want to answer some I want to answer some questions. Yes. Okay. Um, will Courtney be doing the sewing class? Yes, Courtney's class will be launching this month as well. She is super excited. She's got, I think, four weeks of training for you guys to really enjoy um, your sewing machine. And Kim says... Will the Air 2 cut faux leather? Yes, it sure will. If you notice, we just cut it with the fine point blade. So you can cut faux leather every way that you would like. Um, it's, you know, you just use the fine point blade. So Explore or Maker can do that. And Barbara says, what is the printable guide? I have not printed mine. Did you laminate yours? I sure did. I laminated mine and I am so happy I did. But let me tell you, I do not like this. I hate these coils. Like, or I don't even know what you'd call them. Just not a big fan. Um, but I love that it's laminated. You can do this. You just print it at home. I took mine to my favorite print shop because I have such a great relationship with them. But yeah, it's so it's the Cricut printable guide. This is all information you want to know. Um, terminology. You know, if you're a beginner... Our membership is set up for you guys so you can download this and keep it the goal is to keep it on your craft table next to your machine and that is on the dashboard for all mm -hmm. the members. yes if you're looking to download this it is on your dashboard along with everything else you can find over 600 die cutting files on our membership your members have access to um, our e-courses and everything so anyway i just have to read this we have a message from ashley she posted it in the maker school on her facebook group i was so um, happy when I read it. It was kind of funny. So she is our member of the day. Ashley, congratulations. I just have to say the design space e-course I have access to with my year membership is life changing. I'm a newbie to all things Cricut and watching those videos have really helped me navigate design space. Thank you for creating such an amazing membership. Aww. That was so sweet. Ashley. It That's is so, so sweet. sweet. So well, Ashley. Listen, stuff like that really does mean a lot to us. Yeah, so, it really does mean a lot. So Ashley, thank you, thank you, thank you for being a member of our membership. It's the best way to support what we do here. And uh, Ashley said it best. If you're a beginner with the year membership, you get the courses, you get the files, you get the trainings, the printables, the fonts. So it's good. So if you need the membership, the first link down below. But do we have any questions about applying vinyl to leather, faux leather, anything like that? Now is the time to be throwing those questions out in the comments. Rachel's going to be picking out one, picking out two, and um, we're going to be diving into it. But overall, today's project is fairly easy. And I love doing, you know, these simple projects just because they're really fun to do um, and they really do take things up a notch from a simple notebook that you can get at um, Michael's or any craft store or anything like that and being able to upcycle it this is like going to be such a great notebook for you guys in this January um, is such a time where we're looking at getting organized and Rachel knows how many notebooks I use in my life I have one I have one for like literally everything. That's, I have to get my thoughts on paper or they just like go around and around up in my head. So are we ready to get crafty? Any questions? Let's see here. Uh, where do we get the printable guide? Oh, that's a great question. So again, you can download your very own printable guide as well as our vinyl. Um, what should I use vinyl for? Like which type of vinyl for each you know different cups mugs anything like that on the dashboard so on the dashboard of makersgonnalearn.com where you would go to your digital die cutting platform where you'd access your courses there's a new button that says Cricut printable guide click it it'll be a pdf you can download it you can print it um, put it on your ipad do whatever you want and just really enjoy all the cheats that we've included we've gave terminology i mean i'm really happy with how this turned out so it looks really good, so I love it. And Tammy says, hey, Tammy. can you apply vinyl to the plastic notebooks like the Five Star brand? You are able to apply um, vinyl to them. I would use a outdoor just because the plastic does want to come off, but if it's for a kid or anything like that, they're taking it to school. I highly recommend like more durable. Like we're using permanent vinyl today um, on notebooks just because that sticks better and we, we really enjoy it. And Peyton asks, uh, hey, how Peyton. many pages are in the Cricut Guide? This is a 20-page guide. And, guys, we have one coming out for the iOS. We have one coming out for just accessing Makers Gonna Learn and, you know, downloading your files, downloading your fonts. I know we're going to have a lot of questions about accessing fonts. So we're working on those guides and more cheat sheets for Easy Press. Like, there's going to be... Honestly, like between our cut files, our fonts and our guides, like it's going to be busy. So busy. there's lots of things coming for you guys. And 
two thirds of this is not even things that for the majority of people even anticipated when they got their membership. You know, we really are a die cutting um, SVG membership, but we've added the fonts for additional value. And then these printable guides are just icing on the cake for our already really valuable membership with the training videos and whatnot. So we're super excited about all the things we got going on. It is amazing how much we've been putting out into the community and how well you all have been receiving it. So if you're brand new here, I hope you're not overwhelmed with all of the fun we have going on on this corner of the internet. Or you can come join the fun. Yeah, come I mean, join the fun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Diane wants to know where did we get the notebook? Ooh, that's a great question. I honestly think we got it um, at one of the craft stores. I don't want to say which one. I was trying to see what notebook this is. Um, it was made in Irving, Texas, distributed by who? Hmm. It could be a Target one. We really do yeah. get a lot of different things, either at the craft store, Target, Walmart. Who knows where we pick something up? I'm not sure for this one. I will have to maybe look back and try to see where we got it. But the great question. And um, what is the code for Cricut? We have some Ooh, great question. So guys, if you want to support everything we do here, the second best way is to use our shop Cricut links. So if you all would like to, you can click the shop Cricut link down below. That's the only way we will get um, credit for that transaction at no cost to you um, is if you use the shop Cricut link down below. And then if you have an order over $50, you're gonna get free shipping and 10% off using code MGL, makers gonna learn. MGL, makers gonna learn. Super easy to remember, three digits, really simple. Um, and Cricut will be changing those uh, coupon codes up every few months. So if that one stops working, come back, find our new code. So yeah, please use the link below because that is really um, the gift to us and then the 10% off coupon code is kind of like a gift to you. Hope that makes sense. So yeah. And let's see here. We have one more question. Hey. Sandy. Hey, it's Sandy. not having to do with this project, okay. but it's a great question. Sure. What is the name of the stapler you use? Ooh, this is a great question. It is the TS, it's the Aero Fastener TS50, I want to say. I really love that. There goes the broom. Um, it's either 50 or 80. It, it's, 50, it's 50, yeah. It's, we really like it, but go back to some of the old videos we use it for. You can see it in all of our reverse canvas videos. But anyway, are we ready to get crafty? We're ready. Let's do it. Okay, so we have the My To-Do List file here. Again, this is in the organization collection, which we love. Um, you're going to see here, this is two layers. So we have two layers going on, and I'm going to share with you guys how you can cut that on one map, which a lot of people have questions about. So you can see here, we're using two different colors of vinyl. And this is a really simple project, everyone. So size your image, you wanna look at your notebook, kinda see how many inches you got to work with, you know, pick and choose, and then size your image to that size, um, depending on your notebook, anything like that. Our size today is, we got 3.5 by 4.9 is what we're working with. And if you look over on our layers panel, you'll see that we have two separate layers. So we have two different colors. And the first thing that I'm going to do is actually I'm going to press and ungroup these. So I just want to click right here and I want to ungroup. Okay, so we've ungrouped that. And then I'm going to click on this layer and I'm going to drag it over. Okay, so we've dragged, dragged that over and then if we click make it right now, see what happens? It's gonna put this on two separate mats. Well, if you look at our mat, we've already laid out our white vinyl and then we are using scraps today. So we have seven to nine inches from the seven inch mark to the nine inch mark where we can cut this beautiful blue. So what we're going to do- I think you have to turn that blue sideways now looking at the- Well, there's a few different ways. We don't even have to touch that. If we need to, we can turn the image in design space. So let me show you with you how. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to that canvas. You guys see here, what we need to do is go into layers and we need to change this color to be this my to-do list color, okay? So follow along. We're just gonna move this to black. And now if you click make it and replace, you can see here it's all together. So we can move this over and it starts at around seven. And if it's too wide, it, it, might not be. it might not be, but if we ever need to move it, watch what we could do. And then we know for sure, we know for a fact that it's gonna be able to fit on our scrap piece. It's that simple to be able to do two 
different colors on one mat. You do not want to have to pull out another mat or pull, peel this up and then put something else down when, you know, cutting on one mat would be so much simpler, especially for one of these simple projects. You know what I mean, guys? Uh, yeah. So who all's tuning in, Rachel? We have 125 Hello. Right now. Hey. I hope y'all are having a great day. Um, but yeah, so are there any questions on this process? Not yet. Okay, well, if they come up, let us know. Um, it's really simple to ungroup different SVG files, change those colors, and then be able to look at your mat and your vinyl scraps to be able to cut those out. So, okay, we're gonna continue on and just press continue. And we're gonna connect via Bluetooth. Here's our maker. I love using Bluetooth and remember guys, you can use your Cricut with um, your desktop, your laptop, your iPad or Android device or your iPhone, like any iOS, Android devices, um, your Mac, PC, anything like that. The only thing we found that this does not work well with is Chromebooks. So stay away from the Chromebooks when you're thinking about using your Cricut, okay? So we've got vinyl setting right here. And since this is an iron on, again, we're using our fine point blade. We do not have to mirror anything. So we're just gonna load this into the mat. Peyton says, I wish I could spend all day crafting with you guys. Uh, I know, I wish we could just nonstop crafting guys, not have to worry about anything else besides making and thinking up new projects. Wouldn't that be amazing? That would be fun. It'd be really cool. So we're gonna turn fast mode on. A huge question we get time and time again is how do I turn fast mode on? How do I give more pressure? You know, if you wanna give more pressure, it's under step one and it's always set to default. So you can just give more. And then you have to wait until after step two, when you load the mat in, step three, you have that option to turn fast mode on. So we're just gonna turn that on. And then once we're happy with that, we're gonna press this flashing Cricket button. And we have a few brand new members that oh, joined hey. during this live. Wow, so, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, welcome brand new viewers. Yes, we are so happy you guys have decided to join our membership. We are thrilled to be able to, this is the time to join guys, like especially with those that year membership, you're going to get the 600 cut files we have already released, but having the year membership signs you up for a whole year of our membership, okay? That means you're getting every month's new collection of fonts, every new collection of die cutting files, all of these amazing new printables. Like, I just cannot believe we were able to do this. Like, this was just such an idea in our head and we researched and kind of saw what was out there and decided to make something that was ours. And we have had this already there, um, but who doesn't want to know what mat to use? And Rachel, yesterday when we were showing this off, people were asking, Tanner, I'm not a member. Can I get this separate? No, these are exclusive for members. So how does one become a member? That's a great question. So if you're thinking, oh my gosh, okay, maybe I've watched you for a while. Maybe I'm brand new. I'll, I'm ready to take the plunge into the membership. All you need to do is click that first link down below and grab your membership. There's three different tiers you can see here um, on that link below. You're going to see these different tiers of membership. Okay, so we have this right here, the blue button gives you our best value. This is our year membership. You can read about it, but right here has our three different tiers. There's a monthly, six month and yearly. With this yearly option, we give you that financial incentive, that lower price point per month build annually um, incentive to buy yearly. But then we decided, hey, our year members are amazing. Um, so let's be able to give them fonts. Let's give them um, video trainings and things like that. So you do get um, e-courses on the Cricut uh, Maker, the Easy, the uh, e-course on design space and then the build a business class so we have lots of different things for you guys okay and who knows what tanner will pour into the year members or the monthly members later on so yeah join now. we have lots of different things going on for all membership tiers so if any tier that you feel would work for you you're going to enjoy because all of our members really do enjoy our cut files all members get access to the facebook group but those year members um we just realized that giving cut files was just not enough um, for a lot of people, especially newbies, right? right? So we come together to be able to provide more value. 
And Beth wants to know, can members in the UK join? Of course. We are we are so happy to have members everywhere. We have members in New Zealand, Australia, um, England, everywhere. So you're more than welcome. Our UK friends, our Canadian friends. If you have a die cutting machine that works with SVG, PNGs, or a Cricut in general, you are going to love our membership. So now we're just weeding. People talk about not being able to weed on the mat. Someone was watching one of my videos. It was like a short form video and I wasn't really talking like I am now, but it was just like a 30 second video and they saw me weeding on the mat and they were like, whoa, 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 you do not weed on the mat. And I was like, oh yes, yes you do. I was like, you just have not experienced it. I've never it is, not weeded on the mat. I mean, I've it, never not. once you realize how well and how amazing, why would you ever go back? Why? Like you... You will not want to. And mm -mm. I, don't, I don't know why this final doesn't want to stay down today, Rachel. It's Friday. It needs to work really easy yes, for us. Yes, come on, vinyl. I know, vinyl. Okay. If you all ever have issues weeding vinyl, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Um, We're all human. Yeah, we are. And weeding vinyl is not an easy task. Can I hear an amen from someone? I'll Lord, thank you, Rachel. Amen. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um... But yeah, so we're just going to weed away. I already have a feeling this is going to be an interesting weeding project. So let me just see what I can do here for us. The amens are full of porny. <laughs> that is so funny. Um, okay. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting weeding project. So maybe if you are starting to have some interesting weeding projects, this is a time that I'm going to be looking at my fine point blade and being like, whoa, fine point blade, what are you doing? Like, did I do something wrong? Is this... A different setting. Oh, maybe we should have set it to permanent vinyl instead of just regular vinyl. Probably. We're learning. And I think it's Tarita. I'm sorry if I mispronounced uh, her name. She has a great question hey. that we get all the time. How does that Cricut knife not cut the mat? Oh, it's all about the pressure. Like, you probably could cut into it, but you learn the pressure. Like, if you're brand new, if you've not been able to do what we do, you just learn what pressure to give when you're applying it. Like, let's see if it even gave any. So you can see there are, like, a line or two right here from where we cut that out. But nothing crazy, okay? So we're just weeding here. And as you can see, see it's really convenient Everything we do here, since we craft live so many times a week, everything we do is pretty for convenience and it's the best way to have easy success, I think. Um, but sometimes you could probably watch, we may end up wasting an extra few inches of vinyl or something like that, but it's in, it's only because we are just trying to make a better live streaming experience. So see here, Rachel, we've got, we got it? no, we got just so many pieces going on. Like, um, I get really all over the place. This is a very Tarita, interesting she one. she said I pronounced her name correctly. That's Yay! a pretty name, Tarita. Love That's that. Amazing. So unique. It is unique. I love unique names. I know. Not like Tanner. I'm joking. <laughs> I was about to say not like Rachel. And that's so basic. No. So, and you think your name's not? My, yeah, How my many Rachels do we know? I, I know like three. Tanner? Not including me. So I didn't realize Tanner was not a popular name until I left the South. Like nobody uses the name Tanner no. besides the South. Did but in Tennessee, Tanner? oh, I know like five Tanners. Do you? Yeah. Well, you've got a better social life than me. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Um, here we are just weeding away. And guys, this shows not all weeding is the same. And this is why Rachel would say, I like iron on. <laughs> I'm not a patient person. Tanner is a saint. Look at him working this. Mm -hmm. I know we all would have given up a long time ago, but we just, you know, we just gotta... It's not that bad. Come on. Well, I'm not patient. I made Courtney weed one just the other day. I was like, Courtney, I can't do this. Oh my gosh, that's funny. And Jennifer said, Tanner and Rachel, it's Jennifer from Florida. I just wanted hey. to let you know that my beautiful grandbaby was born on December Aww. 29th. And the stocking that you suggested came Aww. out beautiful. I'm so happy. That is amazing. Yay, congratulations for your baby. I'm sure you've been spoiling her. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay. The the Beautiful. hard the hardest part practically already over with. 
we're just going to get in here and weed out the rest of this project. Beth said she's never heard the name Tana before. Oh, well. Hmm. See, I mean, I'm telling you, it's not a popular one. But I would say Rachel's like all over the place, right? Oh, like, I don't know like it is. I, I mean, I, I know a lot of different types of Rachel's like all over the world, so. Different types of Rachel's, that's like, funny. Like different, like from the South, from the North, the right, West. Right, right. The Midwest, like all of those different places. Look at us weeding. And someone says, uh, Rachel and Tanner, what is the name of the video to download SVGs to my PC? Because I have an ancient iPad and you need iOS 10 for the zip app you recommended for the iPad. Correct. So what we have it was we have a video on the website for members to watch, but we also have one, I think it's just called how to download an SVG file to Cricut Design Space. You can find it on the YouTube channel or you can find a video over on the membership site, depending on which platform you're trying to use. Um, but both videos, we show you how to do it with the membership site. So um, there's two different places you can find it depending on if you have a membership or anything like that. And Matthew says, would you recommend a bright pad? Ooh, I love my bright pad, but I just don't end up using it a lot because a lot of our iron-on projects, we don't really need it. But if you are planning on using a lot of glitter iron-on or anything like that, I highly recommend it. So again, guys, we have applied the transfer tape um, and we're gonna reuse the transfer tape for that. We do have this other piece, but we're gonna save that and I'm just gonna talk to you guys about saving that transfer tape because it is nice. It's a little nice technique. So oh, yeah, I wanna let y'all know too. I was crafting away earlier this week um, and I wanted to see how many uses I could get out of the same sheet. Ooh. Of, yeah, out of the same sheet of transfer paper. Uh huh. It was, okay, let me think. Think about it, Rich. It was six or seven. I right? believe it. Before this transfer. It, before it just, you know, mm -hmm. started to slow down. Right. Six uses yeah that. so we get questions all the time can i reuse transfer tape more than welcome to reuse it i like to reuse it when i'm making multiples of things just because you you know already have the right size and things but you can reuse this piece probably we're gonna use it twice you can probably use it four more times at least yeah, it would be awesome if you're, getting, if you're getting the good cricket brand yes cricket has the it. best transfer tape how's this look rage is it cricket i'm not even really here no Oh, you can oh. Hmm. <laughs> they look almost the same. That's so freaking funny. Um, okay, so then we're going to apply this here. Now, again, we're applying vinyl to just your regular faux leather notebooks. Nothing super crazy, but a lot of people get intimidated by applying vinyl to new, new things. So here we go. We've applied it, and let's see. Now, we did not, Rachel, correct me if I'm wrong, we didn't really clean this. Like, there was nothing really to clean, no, right? And with it being faux leather, I was a little afraid. To yeah, clean. we didn't want it to have residue left or like water or still wet or anything. So, we didn't do anything to this, which is amazing. So, now we're gonna take the same piece, we're gonna take it right here, apply our two little friends. Let's see how well they wanna come up. Oh, one came up perfect. That's so funny. Oh, the second one, come on. It's always that second one. It's always the trouble. second one. Always. All and right. And we have a question. Do I need a Teflon sheet to use the Easy Press? You do not. The backing that it comes with is exactly all you need. So, um, but different materials may require it. And some people prefer it, but it's not necessarily a have to for everyone. And guys, this is the time of the video where I need to know, do you prefer the iPhone videos where you can get more up close or are you guys really enjoying our new setup this is the time where i'm like since we are honestly having technical difficulties like having some issues i want to know from you guys you all are the faithful watchers that watch live with me um if you're watching the recorded let me know which one you've preferred this week so we are super excited yeah, and just be honest yeah like, rachel's hands are too shaky <laughs> or be like i don't like the you know above camera yeah just let us know honestly mm -hmm. what you think because this is about you we want to please you all yeah we definitely do so if you enjoy rachel's shaky hands let us know or maybe why you like this version or why you may like the other version um with our more professional cameras and setup and things like that um less shaky hands and things like that but we're super excited look how easy this project was rachel so easy and you know sometimes we just need to go back to the basics i know? mean this is such a great project it's so easy it's one of those once you've been crafting for a while really um able to make without really thinking like maybe even paying attention more to your tv show what you're watching or something like that um but i really do love a simple we did learn a lot of tips we talked about reusing transfer tape we talked about um being able to cut two different 
different colors of vinyl on one mat. We talked about resizing. We talked about a lot of different things on this live stream. And I just love being able to share with you guys tips, tricks, and help you guys stay motivated to craft. And that's exactly what our membership is about is if you've invested in a die cutting machine, you need a membership of a place where you are able to get value from all different perspectives and be around like-minded people to help get the full value out of your die cutting machine. So Rachel, what's everyone saying? Everyone's giving their reviews. Okay. On, it's, it's very mixed. Mm. Uh, new side up, new socks, iPhone close-ups, new setup. I like this setup. Okay. It's very mixed reviews. Working. Really? Yeah. This is cool. I like that. Keep these reviews coming. If someone's not giving their reviews, Aww, I want to see them. Said, I like the new setup because Rachel can be on screen. Oh, she does need to have a mic though. Well, well we just got Rachel a new mic. She's going to be able to give her commentary, whether she's behind the camera or in front of the camera yeah. and everyone um, is able to hear. I love the bigger picture on the iPad or on my laptop. Your hands are perfect. Rachel Tammy That's says, so Oh, this is so sweet. I love when you can move with the wireless mic. Me too. Yes. Awesome. Tanner new setup all the way. That might be Tanner's favorite thing ever is that he can just walk around with the wireless mic. Yeah, I love that. I love, love, love it. So you guys are amazing. I am super excited. Guys, I'm about to go get my eyes dilated and I've been talking about this all week. I'm super nervous about it. I f I'm feeling better. This is going to sound terrible. I, I felt better about it after my beautiful mamaw. I called her and I was like, mamaw, you've got your eyes dilated before, right? And she's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, and she's like, Tanner, are you scared? I'm like, yeah, ma'am. I don't get nervous about a lot of stuff at all, but I think I'm, I'm way more nervous about this than I should be. I know. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know why. It just like freaks me out. The whole eye doctor freaks me out all the time. Linda like, said it's no big deal. Okay. So, thank you, Linda. Yes. <laughs> uh, don't forget to bring sunglasses. People are saying Thank yes. you. Not thank you. Deal, Tanner. Everybody's back in you, Tanner. You're thank you fine. all you all are the best and i'm super excited if you all are having a crafty weekend be sure to share your projects in the facebook group again i believe her name was ashley it was our member of the day we talked about that first of all so thank you member of the day ashley you're amazing um we're super excited to be crafting with you all the time over here on the youtube channel and again guys thank you so much for supporting everything we do here you all are seriously the best